Because he is not being a Barbara Livingston, I'm a dog that, you know, he, he signed me up for a uh, with an agent with some casting things if they want someone from the Caribbean I understand so if the opportunity presents itself I'm more than willing I'm already and I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go okay now I, I see well, we see that you tend to stick to the lovers rock reggae you've dabbled with dance holiday yeah, yeah. can we expect you to, to, to you know mix up any other genre um well magic is like regular dancer uh, magic is like slow grinding kind of vibe which is r&b kind of vibe so you know i love to call my kind of music sugar reggae you understand sugar reggae yeah sugar okay you know, it's not dance it's not full reggae it's not roots and it's not lovers rock it's like a whole culmination of everything in one okay. sweet and diluted music coming at you slow you know? sugar reggae yeah. All right, yes, exactly. we did a track entitled Mom and Dad. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's a little bit different than Mama. Acoustic. It's acoustic, yeah. and you're dropping Daddy yeah. on, the, on, on, on the end, you yes, know? So yes. what, what, what kind of inspired you to, to mix up Mama, do it acoustic, yeah. and of course add Daddy to it? Um, I just wanted that song on the album so badly, you understand? Um, and I just, I feel like when you do something acoustic, you get a chance to break down the instruments and people can see and feel their emotions. Okay. And that's exactly what I wanted to bring across in the song. You understand? Um, everyone here loves their mom. Everyone here who grew up with their father, supposed to love their father, I would hope. But I have two of the greatest experience ever, like someone could have grown up. So I just broke down those two songs in a very nice way that I felt that was befitting, showing them how much love I have for them. You understand? So, you know, a lot of people were of, of, of the, the understanding or they felt like I grew up in a single period of home because I put so much emotions into mama when I did that song. Okay. I was like, oh, so you don't need to with your mama. I'm like, no, no, I grew up in both periods. So that's why, that's why I went out ahead and I did that song for my father called Daddy, I'm a general, you understand? Okay. So doing this album, it just had to be there. I don't want to mess with somebody as well, so. Supposed to hold mommy to the next gospel song. Yes. <laughs> it seems like you're a family man. 100%. Right? You have two daughters. Yes. How has fatherhood changed you and your perspective on life? Um, being a father has changed me in such a wonderful way. Um, I'm much more patient. I, I, I honestly thought I was patient, but it showed me patience in such a broader scope of the world. Um, right. I'm much more loving, I'm much more understanding. And I feel like all of this comes with having daughters. You understand? Um, you know, they touch your soft side a little bit more. Yeah, man, I'm okay. extra sensitive, you understand? And I'm extra caring. And, you know, it's like, you know, you're like a protector now. You understand? I, right. I, I always thought of myself as a provider, but now I'm like a protector. Like, things that maybe I would laugh at when I was younger, they're not so funny to me right now, you understand? Um, yeah, the entire perspective has changed. Yeah, my entire perspective has changed, man, you understand? Um, I, I just want to be the best father there is to these two little girls so they can grow up and understand their worth, you understand? So they can understand that everything that your father is doing for you right now is to ensure that you don't ever have to depend on anybody, whether it be a man or a woman, you understand? You, sh you should know your worth and know that you are priceless in my eyes. And, and you know, if, if you are priceless in daddy's eyes, then every other eyes are joked. Every other eyes. Straight up. As you mentioned, a protector, with yes. the epidemic that has been taking place in Jamaica, especially when it comes to a woman and our children, how, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel awful, man. It, it, it's like... We're here in Jamaica and we're experiencing it, you know, and um, it's a sad situation based on the fact that us as Jamaicans, we, we understand that this isn't the way Jamaica operates, right. you understand? It? It's, it's like a total different vibe is sweeping over the country. A, a lot of people have to believe that these are people who are not Jamaicans who are doing these acts, you understand? Right. So it's really sad. So you can understand for someone who's never been to Jamaica and want to come here, for the vibe of life, vacation, especially women. They're being concerned. No, I'm not concerned that they, they, they're not going to want to come. No, no. You understand? I, I wouldn't let my wife come here the first time she'll come. You understand? We change. Let's go to Belize or let's go to the Bahamas or something. Somewhere else. You understand? So it's crippling not only for how people look at Jamaica, but it's crippling for the tourism industry. You understand? Okay. It's, it's a terrible thing, man. You understand? And a lot of people like to use stuff like this that is happening now and they want to say, yo, let's wear full white or let's wear full black. That won't hurt the situation. 
You understand? That's a joke thing. This action we are dealing right now. So a lot of people, they see me wearing full black and they're like, oh, you're about the movement. I'm not about that movement. I'm not about this fashion still unless you're black for the purpose. Okay. I'm about finding who is doing this. And there are people in the island who must have some notion of who is responsible for this. And they are not talking up. Okay. You understand? And at some point in time, we have to blame ourselves as musicians yeah. because before I was in music, you know, it was the thing to say, you know, in pharma for this and in pharma for that. So, yeah. you know, it's like somebody doesn't want to speak up because they're going to be branded. Or maybe they don't want to speak up because there isn't enough money motivation behind it. I don't know what to say exactly, but I use my voice, which is my vehicle to the people to bring and create awareness. You understand? So even though my album was going to be released, I saw it fit to do a song. You understand? Right, you did a song. We said yeah, I did a song called Stop the Violence Against Women. And you know, I understand? That, that is as much as I can do because, okay. you know, I, 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 I can't go out there and be jungle justice and say, me and my friends who are in power, we're going to try and find them and we're going to do this yourself. No, you understand? And well, you find another medium yeah, to get your voice Yeah, my there. medium is, is music. And through singing. Yes. Well, as you mentioned the women, you seem to love the ladies a lot. 100%. Yeah. What would your advice be to, to our men in our society? Of, as to how they should treat our women. You should treat the women with love, man. You should understand the women and you should treat them with love. At the end of the day, no, 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 no I won't say no man, but nobody at all would be here if it wasn't for a woman. You understand? Right. Yeah, that's why it, it was no mistake when they grew up. They grew up here, they placed their mother earth. I've never gone nowhere in the world where there's a father earth. You understand? Yeah. It's mother everything comes from a woman, you understand? And if you, you if you understand that your mother struggle with you for some seven, eight, nine months, you understand? And you can come and you can do this to creation, it's terrible. Yeah, it's an awful course. thing, it's an awful thing to even fathom how a man can even put a man on a woman. You understand? Much less take our life. It's it's beyond me, you understand? But not everybody sees life the way I see life or the way me and my friends see life. Right. You understand? So right. if, if if we could inflict our beliefs on everybody, then the place would be a better place, you understand? But we can only do so much, but if everyone does a little a little yeah, turn into all that. Alright. Yeah, and I, I must say, you know, your birthday was Valentine's yes, day. Valentine's Day. How did you celebrate the birthday? I I was or Valentine's Day. <laughs> I was performing in the night. Um, well, I stayed home the entire day. You know, uh, I went for my little daughter at school, and then I came home to. Then I went and I performed at um, a show called Red Roses for Gregory. And after that, I went to the football field because I was supposed to do that show on Sunday. It never it got postponed. Because of the rain. Yes, mm -hmm. so it kind of mushed up my shoes and I football team with bridging them. You understand? Okay. So I had to perform. But right after the performance, I went to the football field and the rest said, you know, the shows. Okay, so that was birthday. What did you give me Valentine? Sugar. 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 A sugar reggae. That's yes, huh? Most su sugar reggae. Sugar all over. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Chris, what is next for you? I hear you have a tour coming up soon. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we're going to be on the road for about two months. Um, you know, we're just promoting this album trying to bring it to its max potential, I understand, um, we'll be in the States, East Coast, West Coast, we're gonna be in Canada, we'll leave yeah. in like March and we'll come back in May, so, yeah, you know, yeah, we're gonna be on I'm gonna it too. All right, I know many persons probably wonder, are you always this soft spoken? Well, most of the time, what's unless, unless you go to the football field. Different. What's one thing that will get Chris Martin to shout, like be on the top of his voice? And I go and score against me. <laughs> you don't know the shots, man. <laughs> okay, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Football. If I, I don't like losing. I don't like losing, especially in football. I don't like it. You understand? And most of my friends them there will play football with you on a Tuesday, Thursday. And if you come there, you understand. You understand. Yeah. And you'll be traveling quite a bit yeah. for the next couple of weeks. Which place you can say just stand out in your mind to say, you know, I, I absolutely love that place and want to go back for whatever reason. Um, maybe, maybe one or two. I'm going back, you know, I love Costa Rica. Okay. Yes, and I'm going back there um, in April. Um, I love Africa, going back there in the summertime. Um, 